Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here today to do an updated review of my Oleada Anchor bag in the sand color. This is a two-tone, two-material bag that I've been carrying all summer. I'm still currently carrying it into the fall, and I thought I'd give you an update because it's been actually more than two months now. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, continue to watch. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love fashion, travel, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos, which will include some unboxings that I have been collecting over the last few weeks. Today's topic is this bag. Now this bag I have had for a while now. I unboxed it on my channel in May and I have been using it all summer. I've actually used this quite a lot because of how functional and easy it is to use and I just have been loving it. This one, I wanted to let you know, is currently on sale as well. So if you are interested in it, good news, you are getting it for a discount. Plus with my promo code, uh, Angelin, you'll get an extra 15% off on top of the sale price. So it is an amazing deal. Uh, this also comes in two other colors um, that, that are full leather. So this one has a canvas uh, resistant to um, staining and uh, water, but it also has like a smooth leather here. There are two other ones um, in leather, full leather, and they are in beautiful colors as well. I especially love that like pistachio green color. So if you are interested, I will list all of those below. They are all on sale right now and you get 15% off additional off the sale price with my code. So this one, like I said, is the Oleada Anchor Bag. I have the Anchor Mini here. As you can see, it is quite smaller. I also unboxed most recently an Anchor Mini in a two-tone material and color just like this, but it is, uh, instead of uh, the canvas, it does have a tweed-like material. So this one's all leather, which is what um, the full size all leather would look like, just if you imagine it extended. I'll tell you the dimensions of this bag. It is the height approximately nine inches tall and or 23 centimeters tall. Uh, the width is about 3.2 inches or eight centimeter. And then the width, it is a little bit smaller on the top, but I would say it is about 9.6 or so inches and 25 centimeters. There is a small top handle drop, which is just enough to hold, maybe fit it through your wrist, but that's about it. And then there are also two long straps. These are all leather straps and they can be removed. So right now they are being used as a backpack. You can see that they are adjustable and uh, you can use it. So like if you unhooked this and you put it up here, you can use it as a shoulder bag or if you lengthen it, you can use it as a crossbody bag. But this bag is so easy to use, which is why I have used it so much. And I also love the compartments. Like here you can see a zipper compartment on the outside so that you can put like your cell phone or something, anything in here that's easy access, but it's secure. There is also a front zipped pocket, which makes it extremely secure. Uh, I have a little charm. This is my Hermes one, but you can put any charms on it that you want. I just thought that went well. Here there's a micro suede fiber lining and uh, there's also a zip pocket in the back and then two front pocket up in the front. Um, it is very spacious. I can show you in just a sec what fits in here, but overall I think this is um, an amazing bag just as like a first look for you. The wear and tear of this bag has been great. When I think of canvas, I don't think of like super durable, especially like if it's this kind of actual canvas material. It's not the coated canvas from Louis Vuitton type of canvas, uh, but it has done extremely well. It has not had any stains or, you know, scratching or like anything like pilled or, you know, um, pulled. So it's been doing well. The leather, even though it's smooth, the top grain leather has been doing great. No, like, bad scratches. There are no feet and yeah, I don't see anything that I would be extremely worried about. And yeah, the zipper pulls, the, 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 there's no pop stitches. The piping, all of that has, has been very good. It just looks 
good as new. So I am very impressed with it and I would not hesitate to get another canvas bag from Oleada. So going over what fits in my bag, uh, I wanted to just show you that my phone can easily fit into this back pocket right here. So you can see that it could fit both long ways and sideways. So that's really nice. But in the middle of the bag, there are two slip pockets that I put like my lippies. Uh, sometimes I also put like my credit cards in here or like if you have a card holder, that's actually a really good spot to put it because you can easily grab it out for um, to pay. In the middle of the bag, I have my mini iPad I, with a case and then I also have a Kindle. Um, and so both of those fit no problem in this bag. Um, if I held it up, you can see that it's, it covers it. I mean, it does stick up a little bit from the zipper area, but then the top will cover it. No problem. I also have a sunglass case, water bottle. This one is 12 ounces. And then I also have a pochette, mini pochette here with a lippy and then also a charger. Uh, this is actually a really good charger. It's It could stand up and it um, uses the MagSafe to hold your phone in place. So if you have a wireless charging phone, you don't even need to bring cables. But there we are. Zip that up. And then that also slides in right here. So this is pretty full as you can see. Um, I'm gonna zip this up just to show you what it looks like. All right, and we're good to go. It is extremely heavy now, but I would usually not carry both the iPad and the Kindle. So yeah, hope that helps. So now that you see what fits inside, I am going to tell you the pros and cons of this bag. The pros, let's go through that first. I think you already know, I extremely love how much this can fit. Uh, you know, water bottle, iPad, you know, um, my pouches, hat, sunglasses, everything you need. And it is securely fastened with this closure. I also love how many ways you can wear it. These straps are comfortable, they're adjustable, and you can use it on other things. If you don't wanna use it with this bag, you want a different strap, it is also possible because everything is removable. I also love how durable it is. I love that this is such a great bang for your buck you know, for under $500. And when you use my code, it's even under $400. Um, it is crazy good for what you get and what you can wear it with. This is a really good bag to also use on vacation because as you can see, you can pack it pretty flat. It is fairly lightweight, it's only 1.3 pounds or so. So um, without anything in it, it doesn't feel like you are wearing much. Um, and even if you fill it up, it's not that bad. There are a few cons that I could list. One, I like my bags with feet to protect the bottom. Uh, the, the bottom has been okay, as you can see. There's not too many scratches or anything that you like. You can see. I think there may be some bumps, um, but nothing that I would be too worried about. I think with feet, it can stand a little better, but again, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, for this particular bag. The other thing I would say is the zipper. It is very secure, but as you can see, if I'm holding it with one hand and trying to close it with the other, it does take a, a bit of a second, right? Like I have to like kind of wiggle it. The zipper is not unsmooth. It's very smooth. It's just um, there are certain corners that you need to like kind of um, do a little bit more work to close it. But once you close it, it's very secure. Um, and so, so I do like that it has the zipper options because I think it does make it very nice for traveling. When you have it filled with things, it does make it easier to close because you have some resistance. Right now it's fairly empty. The last thing that I would say is maybe a con is um, the attachment of the straps for the top is right here. It just makes it so that if I'm wearing it, like let's say cross body, it, when you open this, it pulls it up. You can see like, because the, the two straps are here, right? 
So it does pull this part up. And so when you're trying to close it, 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 it does make it even more difficult. You kind of have to like do a little bit wiggle to get it closed. Nothing too, too difficult, but you, you can see that it's not as smooth because it is attached here versus if it were attached to the side of the bag, which I could see it being a design problem as well because then it gets in the way. Um, it, it will be better because it's held, it's holding the bag and not the top of the bag, if that makes sense. So would I recommend this bag? I think from the video, you can probably tell that I would highly recommend it. I love this bag. I know I wore it a lot for the summer. I could continue to see myself wearing it into the fall. I do really like how versatile it is and how much it can fit. My mini anchor, which is like the half, the size half of this, is really good for, you know, the short errand running, but if I'm out all day, or if I go to a theme park, or if you know I go somewhere where I need a little bit more, this definitely is the thing that I would take. And for the price, it is so good. Uh, I know the full leather ones are the same price as this one, so it's not because it's canvas and that's why it's cheaper. Um, you know, less than $500 on sale right now, plus my coupon code gets you this bag or the leather versions for under $400, which is a steal in today's pricing. Uh, and yeah, I just, I just love it a lot. I own a lot of Oleada bags. This is actually one of my favorites. However, if you don't know what works for you, there is a work style quiz that you can take, which um, I will show you what kind of what I've been doing. It only takes two minutes and it allows you to pick different things uh, that suits your lifestyle, your preferences, and they come up with, I think three bags. They came up with three bags for me on what I should try. Surprisingly, uh, I think I only have one of the three and the other two I didn't even think about it So maybe now I have to go back and and see what this captain sleeve is all about It looks really cool for holding, you know, your laptop uh, And then this other tote bag which looks great for traveling, uh, but I do wish it has like a little closure on top, but Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any other questions that you may have that I have not answered, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, I will link everything below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.